So the subject is, uh, for me, it's very clear. This time I would like to help them to feel more their own body in order to dance because sometimes the, they are doing, I call it stepping, they are running instead of to really to feel the true, we can say, life in, the, in their own body. So, hello everybody. First I would like to say thank you for the invitation. It's an honor for me to, to enjoy all my knowledge to all the dancers around the world, of course. And, okay, we don't have so much time, half an hour, and I would like to express myself what I'm thinking, not only about dancing, because about dancing we have many different opinions, okay? But, you know, I was thinking all the week, what can I do in the lecture? And it, what, it was nice that I just came for uh, Judge One competition in Italy last weekend, plus I did so many private lessons during this week, and you know, constantly I had the same, the same feeling that in the competition, in the private lessons, I got some subject that really I miss a lot from the dancers. Should be something so easy as the dancers, they don't feel enough their own body. That's it. When I see in the competition, that the people are running and don't try to listen the music and to listen their own body for dance, that's not good enough. When I saw the private lessons, and normally all the couples, they try to impress me, but impress me through the speed or through running, but they don't try to show me how they are calm inside, and they don't try to feel their own body, and they don't try to feel the partner, this is really don't impress me enough. So actually, my lecture, I would like to just give you uh, a little bit more motivation. Please, Latin couples, don't try to impress around of you. Try to impress first yourself. Try to first to listen to your own body. And probably you will impress us, because it's something completely different if we see a dancer that wants to feel their own body, okay? So, something where, why? When I, I, can't, I can see that the people doesn't feel the body. For example, when I see the dancers that try to dance, and at the same time, what I can see is that there are more arms instead of body. So when I see that the people is playing maracas, this is not good enough. They are not feeling their own body. So, one of the reasons is because normally, now today in the Latin, we want to use a lot the body. And what's happened? We try to isolate and to create only from the ribcage a movement. Then it's when it's not enough. Why? Because really we don't feel the body. What is feel the body? We need to feel from, really from the feet, fingers, head, everything. So to try to create a feeling in the body, we need to try to change different positions from the inside from the outside together with a kind of contrapositions. So most of the dancers, when they are dancing, they try to create action and to isolate completely from the arms. So what I would like to teach you is that we should feel constantly even our hands, even our arms, and to create in somehow a contrapositions for to dance, for feel my body, or for to create a dancing with my partner. So normally, I can see a lot of movement, but nothing goes from all the rest of the parts of the body. So what is a contraposition? Contraposition, if I stand up and I make the arms like this, this is not a contraposition, just I'm completely straight. If I change my arms, it's also not a contraposition. But if I create arms from my spine, then I got a contraposition. If I use my arms together in relation with my upper part, then I have a contraposition. If I want to move, I can't move in isolation. I need to move from my spine for to create our arms. So what is very difficult for me to see is how the people move in relation with the arms, in relation to contraposition. If I want to be more mechanic and I go into my standing leg, you see, I can be in my standing leg without nothing with my arms. Already, I need to make something with my arms, that actually from my arms, 
creates a better picture instead of to go to go direct. If I want to make a rotation, I need to create something from my arms, but never the arms could be without spine. So always we should feel the connection between spine and arms in order to change. Or even if I move, I have a contraposition, I feel my arms. It's not that I try to find my diagonal. This is what I see a lot from the dancers, that they try to feel the diagonal because they want to be a good mover. But you see now the arms are completely disconnected. So what you should make it is, of course, through my center, to try to find out a relation between my standing leg, my spine, and my arms instead of to try to make a diagonal position in ourselves, then is when you see this arm is when it's weak and we can see that there are not a nice energy. So constantly we need to create contraposition even if we want to make a rotation, even if we want to make a step, even if I want to feel my body. So actually I feel the relation about to absorb myself together with my arm or even if I want to end it and actually my hands in relation with my upper part create a relation and contraposition. And from this, doesn't matter what we are doing, even if I move, I need to feel my contrapositions from my arms in relation with my body, even if I want to change a speed. So because many times I can see that the foot in relation with the spine and the arms are completely away. So that's actually what I want that make you understand that we can't move if we don't feel our body. For feel that our body, we need to have a relation with all parts. What is the weight? What is the preparation? What is only the body together with the arms? Even if I want to speak with you, I can be only inside for me, or I can also to share with you all for you. You understand what I mean? So, and that action, I need to create a spine. So this could be, of course, this is constantly. Could be even if we want to dance ourselves, to feel our contrapositions, even when I go inside, even when I go outside, even if I want to create whatever I want, even if I have a movement. So I have a movement and I try to feel together what I can do. So this could be as a solo dancer and actually what I would like to make in the group lesson, the most difficult part, to dance with my partner. Okay, for that I would like to ask, please, Christina, to help me. So, because of course in 30 minutes I need to resume a lot what we will make it in the group lesson. So, already I show you as a solo dancer when I need to dance that I need to feel my arms together in relation with my body. But this is even more important when actually in the end we want to dance with our partner. Because if we don't have a structure of a movement and coordination at the same time is when we will feel a lot push and pull because our contrapositions and our movement was not in the good puzzle enough between us. So let's try with Christina, for example, if we can show you how through the contrapositions we can start to create a movement together and to have a partnership. Like for example, when I take the hand, it's not that I take the hand and I don't feel where is my free arm. Actually, I can feel how I take the hand. I can go in in my body, but actually this arm has something to do. Even if I say, are you ready? We can feel the contraposition. Even if I say we will in, I feel how my arms together with my body, I cannot be in to check how is hair, how it's happened a lot. So actually, so every time that we create any movement, even if it's slow movement, I feel my contraposition. So it's logical what I create from my low part with the upper part. Or if I want to go in, this is logical. I can't go in and my arm doesn't make nothing. So it is logical action also with my arm together with my body. If I want to make a rotation, so already I feel also 
how is my contraposition. If I want to go to hair and I wind up, I feel my contraposition. And when I want to send her, it's not that I push her, I create my contraposition to send her. And we feel again the contraposition. Or if I want to go in, that's the same. Or if I want to go out, I feel my contraposition in order to bring her to me. You understand? So like this, I feel my body constantly because I go into the maximum from my action through contrapositions. When we create only movement without contraposition, what's happened? It's, it's not clear. Okay, maybe I did it too bad. Let's do it very good without contraposition. So I try to create a movement, but the upper part, the arms, has not relation. So every time that we create a movement, we feel our contraposition even we are relaxed. We feel our contraposition even if I'm up. We feel our contraposition with the arms, that's a contraposition. We feel our contraposition from the rotation, so we feel already we are ending. We create a wind up ourselves and from the contraposition, what is makes me to go in? to do the same arm, it's not logical. If my hip is here, and now my hip should be there. Why we need to be without feeling our hand, arm? It's not normal. So we should create something that is in relation. Or if I want to go in, or if I want to go out, I create it from my spine and arm in order to bring her. You understand? So actually make us a strong picture if we try constantly to fill our contrapositions. Thank you, Christina. So, for example... <laughs> as a woman, the same. This is very important. We normally we have the problem that many times the man feels that we are too heavy in order what he wants to make. Okay, will be difficult because the man should be the boss, but I will be half boss also, no? So this is actually not so good enough. If we create the same action, so from the beginning, okay, okay, and the man wake up me, I feel my contraposition. When the man goes in, we feel the arms in contraposition, good. When he makes the rotation, stop. See, now we have, he has his contraposition, I'm already waiting to him, and he changed. He wind that himself, and I change my contraposition, wait. So I feel my contraposition and already say, yes, come to me, kiss me. Yes, I let him to come. If I'm like this, it's not possible, but if I change from my center my contraposition, and now when he send me back, again, I create in and I feel my arms, how I make the contraposition, because the arms are moving through the spine. It's not that I go to the hip, I feel my body to change into the up in order to go. So again, always we need to feel the body, how we create the step, sorry, make on two, the step, how we go in, in order with the contrapositions, how we go out, so in order of contraposition, and then we can go. Okay? If we create this without feeling our back together with our arms, could be, from the beginning, wake up me. You see, this is when I see that the back is not moving, is not breathing. We don't create our contrapositions. Then is when we feel that with my partner, I can really to don't feel when is the best moment to bring her. If he, for example, now I try to make him to be the boss, till now I, uh, he couldn't, okay? So all my answer to him will be to be in life through contrapositions from my back with, or with my arms. Slowly, please. That's the action. 
So, what it was the question? What we try to do is not just move the arms. I call maracas arms. Okay, thank you. Be ready for, for the samba. It's, we don't see our arms without body just because we create a certain tension in coordination, the upper part with the action, or a certain tension, I feel it, or even when I want to make the rotation, or even when I want to take out my knee. So how is my contraposition? It's not that it's normally we check too much, then it's coming the shoulder, then it's when it becomes ugly as a body lines, and then it's when it becomes, how can I say, stucky too much. For example, Joel, Christina. I would like to create, because I would like to uh, work a concept, not a, a dancing. The typical moment, that is the worst I can see, is the typical moment when the men should make a cruzado walk and to create a promenade run. Normally, it's always a big, big, difficult stuff. We never know if the men should run in and to take the lady later on the third step of the promenade run. You know, this always there are so many styles, but for me, it doesn't matter the styles. What I want to see is there are the re a relation between the action and the arms and the partnership, okay? So, for example, if they create very slow, you remember? Very slow. So I would like that they create the girl to be on the left side, the man the right one, to create, and we will try to create slowly, how we can produce first to feel ourselves, to feel the contraposition in order to dance also with her. So the men start, for example, from the back. This is an exercise in order to feel the action, in order to create a cruzado wall together with the upper part. Let's try. And stop. And I can push. Good. So from here, already, we can see that we have the same kind of action used together. Okay, so then, no, 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 don't stop. What we need to do? We need to create the action for to create this next step. First, what we need to do? To create another contraposition in our body, on the leg, in order to have the same rib cage to absorb under. You can bring the leg under, okay? So now from here, from this contraposition, the man can push to the opposite side and the lady can push to the other opposite side to change another contraposition. Stop. Very good. So already the men create another contraposition, the ladies also, and now they will try to fill the elbow into the cruzado walk. So from this, now they create a nice contraposition in themselves because it's easier for the men to create a hip. When the dancers create this action, do you think that he can feel his, his rotation? Not, but if he creates there, he feels the rotation. Or for example, if they change now the contraposition, change just contraposition in order to go to the opposite side, into the elbow, yes, feel the elbow into the contraposition. Exactly, thank you. So you see, wait a moment, Joel. So, the first thing that we should do is to feel our own body. And our body is with arms, it with hands, and for a certain moment, I create my expression to my partner from contrapositions in order to change the step. Even now, if I want to make an action, I can make an action without nothing in the spine or the arms. I should find another contraposition in order and to feel it how we finish and to create another contraposition. This is partnery. So through my contraposition, we feel the space we need to give the partner in to finish. Or even now, we open. The ladies open and say, please, Karina, take me here. And me, my open, I go in with my contraposition, in order with my elbow, in to create. Sika, ha, kada, sika, ha, kada, sika, dada, 
ah, da, da, in step of to create not contrapositions, and then what happened? That we don't have a good ending enough in our body, plus we don't create never partnering enough. If we create our contraposition, I say the lady to come. So we feel from our standing leg how the lady can go there. From my action use, da, and even now my elbow, feel my contraposition in my body into create. Or like now, I want to go to take her. Elbow, go. So. <clears throat> you see, the problem is that normally, that's what is difficult for me to see in competition. How a dancer feel the own body and create the maximum from the own body in relation also with your partner. For example, if we create the typical action in cha-cha, I wanted to go to rumba, to samba, to cha-cha, and I wanted to take it also as a partnering, okay? Uh, for example, when we create a, a normal lock step, okay, back, a double lock step, then we go into an uh, overturn, and for example, we create this action. That's it. Okay? So what happens normally? That the ladies create just only legs, for example. Sorry, I'm, I'm the boss. And just only legs. Maybe the ladies even goes there and then only with you, and I forgot my partner. So why normally happens this? Because they want to create this style. No. Because they don't feel the body and they don't feel the partner. Okay, for example, what we can do for feel better the partner? Actually, if I create a cha, cha, wa, already I need to have a movement in coordination with my body. If I go from outside to inside and outside, if I create only a low par, now I'm empty. There are not coordination enough, so we will not produce a nice back together. If I create to dance with him from my contrapositions and to dance in order when we melding inside, then maybe the man can send me and even now as a back to create the three and cha-cha. Okay, I feel my contraposition and I use my contraposition from my standing leg in order to feel the men and we will change again the contraposition in order to go and I will change my contraposition in order to go and I will change my contraposition in order to create a speed. Okay? So, it's not only about to create a nice body action. It's not only for to show more volume together. It's for to show that constantly we have music in our body, but we can't be only as an instinct. We need to have a structure in our body to feel it when we can create these actions. I hate when I see, for example, not body action at all and play maracas. If I make the same in play maracas, cha cha wa, two a three a cha cha, a two a three a cha cha. This is for me play maracas because I didn't make it in relation with my body. And then, of course, it's not that constantly I'm with my partner. So I can be in the beginning, just only coordinate from here, we are together. But now, only in the cha cha one, we stop, will be my coordination for myself. Arata, stop. Now I try to connect with my partner, and chu, and da. Uh, now I try, of course, because he feels my contraposition. He feels myself. Normally, well, you are heavy, I don't feel you. No, then you go. This problem, why it's coming? Because we don't have our own contraposition. 
Now he feels me and I'm not heavy. I don't feel you. You are too heavy. In the end, what is, what's happened? You don't create your own contraposition in your body in order that he feels my standing leg. And three and cha-cha. I try to create a relationship with him to connect it with my contraposition and go tarazava. And again, I feel my contraposition in order to go. That's the point. Thank you. So, what I really I would like that you take it from my lecture is, is please, to what's happened today? Everything is going too much into speed and energy. And then, if you go through this uh, subject, the problem is that you will never feel your own body, and you never you will feel the right puzzle together with your partner for to create a dancing. Of course, also I like a speed. But what I like is to play with the speed. So, some, what, are, what means? We can't go always constantly only speed. The speed is nice when we create something slow. And slow is not to stay. A slow is to have life. Then you can create the speed. And for to have life, you need to feel your body in different contrapositions. Can be this one. Doesn't matter. I feel it. Doesn't matter if I'm out and the popper out. It's not a problem. If it's if you feel it, in order to bring the leg. If you feel it, and then you can create a speed. So, what I would like is, if you feel your body together, standing legs, spine, and arms, you will feel a king or queen. Then is when you feel the power, and then is when you feel the instinct to create speed. So today, what I would like to work with all of you is that we try to feel more our own body. We try to feel the space that we can produce from our body and our contrapositions. And of course, that's the most important, we dance with a partner to create space from my own body connected to my partner for to dance together. Unfortunately, today, I don't see men care about women. Only the man is cared about, please don't disturb me. But always the women will disturb you if you are not cared about the woman to dance with her. Okay? So then, let's try upstairs later. Yes? Let's try upstairs later in the group lesson if I can change the idea of these dancers. If I can try to change the idea about to first, instead of impress the judge, first feel your own body, create your different contrapositions, we will create different exercises, and if we can feel better to be together with our partner when we are dancing with a partner. Okay? So this is my subject. Okay? Thank you very much. we we'll see you later. Thank you. Thank you very much. Karina Rubio, thank you very much. <laughs> thank you. And I hope you will come again.